snowball method or avalanche method that's what we're going to talk about in today's video hi i'm mr3 and today we're going to talk about the snowball method or the avalanche method of getting out of debt which would you prefer the snowball method is a method that is more popular in getting people out of debt what that does is you you pay on the smallest loan or uh, debt that you have and then you pay the minimal on all your other debts so if you're if you have a two hundred dollar debt then you want to pay that one then the next one which say you have an eight hundred a thousand dollar and a twelve hundred dollar debt okay so the two hundred dollars you start with that then you pay the uh, minimal balances on your other debts and you keep moving up 200 to the next one and to the next one until all your debts are paid off and that has gotten so many out of debts or paying off their debts the next is the avalanche method which is you pay off the highest interest while paying on the minimal uh, interest on your other debts say you have a one with a high I don't know what high is but you pay on the highest interest and that is called the avalanche method that is not as popular but people still do it you got to do what works for you and however you pay off your debt the most step I ever had at one time was 300 when I took out a loan yes I took out a loan a couple of times maybe three times but it, I try to pay that off because I didn't want that sitting on me for the rest of my life or I didn't want it to ruin my credit score. And this will help you get lower payments on vehicles, will help you get homes and just other things in life. I heard some people say they had to check their credit when they were getting an apartment. So. Having credit does help, although some people don't agree with that. But the last 10 years, I haven't had credit, and it's kind of hurting me right now. But I found a card that will help build my credit while I don't have credit. And I'll talk about that in a different video. But you could try these just to get out of debt. And... When you get out of debt, then it feels so good. You don't have stress and you can ask many people. But if you're just starting out and you want to pay off debt, I would suggest the snowball method. But again, you got to do what works for you. Don't take my advice because I haven't had that many debts. I'm not one of those people that will use up a credit card. I'm actually afraid of debt because that's how I was raised. But you got to do what works for you, as I always say. If you are starting out, which method will you use? Or if you ever got out of debt and you had to use one of these two, which one did you use? I'd like to know. Maybe you can help us all out. Which one works best? You see, I want us to be a a room that we can just grow in together motivate each other and that's what I'd like here so if you like this kind of content give me a thumbs up if you like this video a thumbs up would help bring out the algorithm maybe subscribe and leave a comment and tell other uh, tell your story on how you got out of debt or if you're in debt and you're going to choose one of these methods. I'd love to hear from you. And if this is your first time, then welcome. You're all invited to join me on the journey of living a frugal life. I'm MR3 and this is The Narrative.